Luke, commiserations. The defence has ended in mm. the final. Is that, is that a bitter one to take? Uh, it's not bitter. I'm just disappointed the way I played, to be fair. It's just all around the wires. It was a tired performance for myself. You know, it just wasn't me up there. And But you can't take credit away from, from Mike. He was just, honestly, every time, it was like the, the double was going in every single throw. I know he had a, a little spell right at the back end of the game where he missed about six and nine and two legs. But apart from that, he was, he was in every time. Um, he showed a lot of bolt tonight, and you know that makes a good player. You know your first major final, there can be nerves, and I felt it in mine. But yeah, he looked like he didn't feel it. So, you know, missed opportunity for myself. I felt like I missed so many opportunities in the game. My doubles were awful, but Mike was fantastic, and I think the better player won the game. And I think you know I deserve to be the runner-up, and he deserved to be the winner. I mean, when you lost the Premier League final, it almost reset you to then go on and win the match. Are you hoping that, although it hurts the defeat, it can reset you for the back end of the year just to refocus that mind again? Yeah, I mean, it hurts for, you know, 10, 15 minutes. But once it's it goes over, it's just another achievement. It's nine major finals in 12 months. It's been an incredible, you know, it would have been nice to top it off with a win. But, you know, you, just, you can't, like I said, you just can't win everything. I think a lot of people rip Mike off tonight and I just... I'm one of them players which I'm proud of myself of. I never write anybody off. I knew it was going to be a tough game. You know, big opportunity missed to go two sets in out. Then it could have put pressure on him a lot more. You know, it's one all and, you know, it's game on. So, yeah, there's missed opportunities for myself. But he come back really well and his scoring was unbelievable. And, you know, I know it was a, a not, not the best for me, but I thought it was a, overall a really, really good game because, you know, after the last couple of years, there's been quite a big, big wins. Uh, easy wins, whereas this this time it was a lot closer, and I think they give the fans a lot of a lot of enjoyment because it was a lot closer. Luke, thanks very much for your time. Thank you, Phil. Luke, commiserations. When you took out those those one four nine and one five two checkouts, you, I think you said, "I'm still in this." Mm. Did you think, you know, I can turn this around? It could be on. Definitely. I, I, I when I walked out from the break at four one down, I said to myself, "The fans have come here to for a good night of darts. Don't let them down." You know, don't don't just walk walk out the tournament and think, oh, it's over for me. You know, fight like you usually do. And I did, and I fought hard, and, and it still won't go for me in certain sets. You know, but I I just tried my best tonight. I was I felt so tired. That's not an excuse. Just felt so tired. It just didn't feel the same as it did yesterday. Maybe yesterday was just too good, and it just took out of me a lot. But um, you know, it's just one of them things that can happen in darts. One day it's amazing, one day it's not. So yeah, it's. Uh, it's a shame that I didn't really, really push Mike in a lot of legs that I could have done. Lots of missed opportunities on the doubles, but like I said, I think the better play in the end did win. Some really nice words between you at the end. Uh, as a major champion yourself, what advice would you now give Mike going forward? Yeah, I think don't just... Uh, the only advice I'd give him would be don't just accept your one-time major champion and think, well, I've achieved everything now, let's just relax and nothing else matters. I think you have to push on now. If he wants to be a superstar in, the, in, the, in darts, which he possibly could be, he showed a lot of bottles tonight and he's obviously a very good scorer but I think the thing with Mike is he just couldn't do it on the stage until this week. Now he knows he can do it, he has to push on and I think he has to believe in himself because you know when you, when you can't do it on the stage as much as you want to, that's what you lack, that bit of confidence in yourself to believe. So yeah, I think he'll have it now. He has to push on and try and win another one the next 12 months because if he does then he can go on a good run. Luke, whilst it wasn't to be tonight, you've played some excellent darts this week and there's a lot of big tournaments coming up and I'm sure you can take a lot from this week. Yeah, um, you know, it's, it's just uh, uh, a performance that wasn't up to the standards that I would have liked and, you know, 6-4 kind of a very complimentary to myself because I felt like I could have lost a lot more by, you know, a lot more bigger scoreline. But, yeah, it's, it's, it's the only thing people say it's so tiring, it, it really is. It's a long week, it really is. And, you know, for Mike, he's played four games on the trot, four days on the trot, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It takes it out of you. So, yeah, you've got to give credit to him because he's, he's coped so well. And, you know, his doubling in was pretty much like mine was last year. I thought mine was amazing last year getting in. And it won me the title this year. His has been amazing. He's won in the title. So, you know, he deserves it. When you've won as much as you have and you've been a serial winner over the last 12 months or so, can this sort of, as you were saying earlier, relight the fire for the tournaments coming up and give you that even more... Desire. Yeah, I mean, it won't it won't knock me back or it won't make me any stronger. You know, it's just one of them. You know, if I'm gonna, if you'd have, if you offer any professional dart player a final, you're gonna take it because it's a decent, it's decent, isn't it? A final's good in a major, so you know, it's uh, it's still a, it's still a progress for me. It's still another major final. It's still it's still good. You know, as much as I would have loved to have won, I'd love to play a lot better. You know, it's it's still a step forward because, like I said to you all earlier, it was, uh, in the week I didn't feel my throw was as great. Um, and I've had glimpses of it being back a little bit better. So, yeah, I look forward to uh, the Pro Tours Tuesday, Wednesday and see if I can find it again, maybe pick up another title.
Thanks for your time. Today. Thank you. Luke, I'm sure you remember your first major final. Were you surprised about how well Mike kept it together towards the end? The scoring in that final set was really, really clutch from him. Yeah, but I mean, I'm not surprised. But of course, you can be a bit shocked from the way of how, you know, he didn't show them nerves. Sometimes just it's, it means so much to win that major final. It really does. You know, when you're in one, you don't want to lose. So for him, he showed so much bottle, so much tenacity to to just get over the line. Because if it goes five all, um, you know he. I do think I probably would have been the stronger player because he he probably would have felt like he could have got the game won a lot earlier. Um, but yeah, you know he showed so much so much strength in that last uh, last set, and yeah, it was it was brilliant from him. A lot of people talk about the strength in darts nowadays. We saw Ryan Joyce in the final four, Mike lifting the trophy. That's just another example of how deep the, the field is now in darts. Not just the top eight, but the 128 even. Yeah, I mean anybody can win. I think this is one of the perfect tournaments for that. You know, it set a catalyst for me to go on and win so much. It might do the same for Mike. Of course, it's going to be incredibly tough to follow it up. I know that feels. But, uh, you know, he's got the opportunity now. He's going to be in the, uh, the Grand Slam, the, the European Championships, the Players' Championships, the World. He's got it all to, to, to go for. So, uh, you know, like I said, hopefully he's not winning too much because I want to win more. <laughs> so, But he's, going to, he's put himself in the mix now for, for a lot of things, Premier League and stuff. I don't think they will... Um, you know, just count him out of that. It's a, it's a battle between him and Dimitri maybe for the first, for the Belgian to get in now because they've both won a major. Um, maybe it might be time to give Mike a chance. Luke, thanks for talking to us. Thank Luke, you. Uh, just on that, uh, what realistically do you think Mike may have to do? There's a, there's a lot of darts to play. What do you think he might have to do to get that Premier League spot sewn up after this week? Yeah, I mean, you can't just win one major tournament and then expect to be in. Um, you know, I think he has to show, even if he doesn't win another major or like make a, a final or semi, he just has to show that willing of playing brilliant. You know, if he loses games or wins, you know, say if he's in these all these tournaments, he wins a couple playing brilliant and then just get edges out. You just got to show that level that it stays there. Because if he has a good world, then I'd 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 put him in to be honest. To be honest, yeah. it's always nice to just give someone a chance, see how they do. You know, I, I think he'd maybe relish the chance, but you can only. Only put him in and see how it goes, isn't it? I think, you know, Dimitri's had a go. He, he didn't really, it worked out well for him once and then it didn't the other time. So, you know, just maybe it's worth trying someone else. Do you, you definitely know? think that's his ceiling? Do you think he can now take this and go on to bigger and better things? Oh, I don't think he's played his best darts this week. And, he, you know, I think there's another level in Mike. I've known him for a long time. His scoring's, I think you all know, you follow the Pro Tour, he's an incredible score. So that's the next step for him to bring it to the stage, and he has. But he's got to keep proving it like I had to, and uh, I did so. Even if he doesn't win one of the next four tournaments, I still think he might have a great shot at the Premier League. But I don't want you all to just talk to him about that when he comes in here for his winner because it might put a pressure on him. But I'd, I'd give him a shot, to be fair. I think um, he deserves it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers, guys. Thanks, Thank everyone. you.